Hey, brothers and sisters, welcome. Thank you for checking in. The new moon has been spotted. Yes. That means the month of Tishri has officially started. That means that Rosh Hashanah has officially started, the Feast of Trumpets, um, the only day on which the rapture can occur. Now, what it means, best of my understanding, it's within one or two days that the rapture would occur. It's at the last trump and a twinkling of an eye. The twinkling of an eye is evening twilight. Um, from my understanding, it was, I don't know the exact time, but a little after seven o'clock this evening. Let me actually, let me dig it up real quick for you. Probably should have done this beforehand, but only take a second. I'll give you the time it was spotted from one of the sources. I've had two sources online that have said that it was spotted and... Oh, that's not the one. Give me a second. And I'll give you the time. And it was cited from Jerusalem at 6.03 p.m. Um, and that would be the time in Israel. It would have been about 12 o'clock noon here in Washington, not Washington, D.C. I'm just saying that because of a comment I got. That's all good. A um, little fun. So, 24 to 48 hours. It has to be evening twilight. That's a twinkling of an eye. That's what we're looking at. Keep in mind, folks, I've said this before in all of my videos. I keep trying to say it. The rapture does not have to happen this year. It looks like it. So many things are pointing to it. Okay. What could go differently? Why could it be different? A okay, couple things. And I've mentioned these in videos before. One. If the um, when if it is a year of jubilee, then Rosh Hashanah actually merges into Yom Kippur. My teacher says always give it till Yom Kippur before you say not this year. Okay, so that'd be ten years after the two days from right now. On top of that, there's a chance, any chance, the barley was not a viv. It could be a month away. I seriously doubt that, but hey, I'm throwing out all the options to you. And it's possible. I did a video some time ago, the big what if. And it's what if the barley, um, excuse me, what if the new moon wasn't spotted in the month of Nisan in 30 AD when Messiah was crucified? Then it wouldn't be 30 AD that the Messiah was crucified. I can't get past the all of the miracles that stopped at the temple. But that's a possibility. And, you know, if we don't go, I'll, I'll I'll try to dig a little deeper into some of these things. And if we don't end up going this year, we're going to start a, a Bible study in the book of Matthew, going way deep into the book of Matthew, looking at everything and all of it. Because most of Matthew and a lot of what Messiah said comes from the Old Testament. He was the prophet that would be raised up like Moses, that he just speaks only the words that his father gives him. So that's where we stand. I'm hoping we go. I'm praying we go. But keep in mind, our blessed hope is not that we go this year. Our blessed hope is that we know that Messiah is going to come back for you. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Maranatha. And may your name be inscribed for a happy and sweet new year. Take care, guys.